Okay. Today is day 12. The 12th day of December slash advent calendar time. Uh, and today is a special day. Uh, but right off the bat, the first thing I do want to say is it was brought to my attention very recently, like in the past five to ten minutes, that a lot of these videos are actually cutting off whenever you watch them on Facebook or Instagram after like a minute or a minute and a half because I guess that's what Facebook or Instagram thinks that people's attention span is and they are much longer than that. Most of them are like three, four minutes. Some actually go on for six or seven minutes, a couple of them, uh, but they're all on YouTube also. And so I'm going to re-edit or re-link all of them to the YouTube one too. So if y'all would want to go back and watch the whole thing and not see me cut off after a minute or two and watch the whole thing on YouTube. I'd appreciate that. You, and you can tell when it's the whole thing because it'll end with me actually saying bye or good night or probably bye because that's how things, that's, that's how I know what to end things. Today's minifigure is this adorable little reindeer gonk. It's a little reindeer gonk. Uh, but what's funny about this cute little guy is that just because it's like this box shape with a lot of brown, I look at it and I don't see reindeer gonk. I see reindeer gonk cake and it makes me want cake, which is very appropriate uh, because today, I said it's a special day, today is my big brother's birthday. Uh, I'm not going to say how old he is. Let's just say he's old enough to have seen all the Star Wars in theaters. Uh, and he's, um, he's half a century that he's half a century. There you go. Um, and he's to blame for all of this. Like I could say my family altogether is to blame for all of this, like for getting me into this, but it's really, <laughs> it's all his fault. Um, he showed me my first like Star Return of the Jedi storybook before I could read and before I even saw Return of the Jedi, which is the first one that I saw altogether. I'd seen most of Star Wars and I'd seen definitely the ending of Empire Strikes Back and knew the gist at like age two or three. But um, Return of the Jedi was the first one that I got to see all of that they we rented whenever it came out on home video. And he, but he taught me the storybook before that. So I knew who the characters were. I knew who Jabba the Hutt was. I knew what the Rancor was. Scared the bejesus out of me. Didn't expect that, but it was terrifying. Uh, he showed me all the, all his toys. Uh, he, he, I got to play with a lot of his old Star Wars toys. I still have some of them. Uh, and it got to the point where some of the mail away figures and things like that, my mom would actually get two of. For instance, like uh, the Emperor. And I want to say uh, there's a Lando that like the skiff disguised Lando we had two of because my mom kind of had in her head that no y'all both need it even though I was like three and probably was like I don't know what this is but thank you because I can tell it's a toy and I appreciate toys definitely didn't know what the emperor was at the time um but yeah this is this is all his fault he was the one that got me into all this uh whenever Star Wars kind of had its comeback in 1995 whenever they started they re-released uh, the toys. You know, they put out the toys. That's what got me back into it. And then they put out the uh, the last time they put out the original trilogy on VHS, unaltered, the THX edition. Whenever I got those, he was so excited. He made sure to put them in the VCR on Christmas morning as soon as they got unwrapped. So he could be like, look how good this THX transfer looks on a TV this big. But still, it looks great. He was so excited. I was excited. And that his excitement made me excited. Like it was, it was infectious. Uh, and I feel like I've kind of passed that along more too. That infectious joy of Star Wars, which it's kind of his fault, really. Um, he brought me to see all the original trilogies, the special editions in the '90s. Uh, he brought me on several toy hunts, a lot of toy hunts uh, to KB Toys, Toys R Us. Toy liquidators in Iowa, places like that, just always looking for toys. Um, and so today's figure is for him. My brother has a big soft spot uh, for Bubba Fett, which I've talked about before in person. You probably heard me reference that it wasn't Boba Fett. It was Bubba Fett. That's how Kyle says it. Kyle, my brother. Justin is what he likes to be called. I still call him Kyle. Um, 
he, he loves Boba Fett, and he loves Darth Maul. So, of course, the figure I chose for him today is the Star Wars equivalent of my brother, my boy Dexter Jetster, from Attack of the Clones, who owns a diner and also rocks short sleeves. Yep. Uh, this was one of those figures that I got just randomly whenever I was just kind of in a a bum's mood. I don't remember why, but I was kind of like, uh, just gonna go look at toys, uh, try to cheer myself up, and I bought this figure just to, just as a uh, maybe this will cheer me up, and it did. It worked. I got him. I got home. I opened him. And I was like, I love this little dude. He's just there's something so weird and bizarre about a '50s diner in Star Wars, but everything is weird and bizarre about Star Wars, so why not? Um. And I'm sure my brother would prefer me talking about Bubba Fett or Darth Maul. And especially what's especially insulting is about the Bubba Fett thing is I literally have a Bubba Fett figure on the table. He's going to be used later, but he's on the table. But today's not about him, so go over there, Bubba Fett. Today's about Dexter Jetster, who is a big, joyous dude who loves cooking and loves laughing which that describes my brother and uh we never saw dexter jetster get like sentimental but something about him he looks like a sentimental sort which is also like my brother um so yeah happy birthday justin slash kyle it's always gonna be kyle uh and thank you for introducing me to this weird crazy world that just makes me so so happy um and i don't think it would make me so happy if it didn't remind me so much of you <laughs> bye